everyone and welcome back to Fast Stock Market News where I give you all the news as fast as I can. So today was a pretty violent day early in the stock market. Slowly throughout the course of the day we rebounded a bit but overall we finished uh, another negative day in the stock market. You can see the S&P 500 finished 0.88, uh, negative 0.88 in the red. The Dow finishing 0.82, negative in the red. We have the Nasdaq finishing negative 1.33 in the red. The Russell finishing negative 0.66% in the red. And crude also tanking a lot lower, finishing over 3.43% in the red. So everything that's happening right now, guys, it's something that uh, it's just another day in the office. At this point, a lot of us have gotten used to it, but it's all culminates to basically geopolitical issues, inflation, CPI, data, interest rates. But uh, overall today, it was a very, very, um, uh, it's a big milestone for the market because the market actually uh, had its worst first half in over 50 years. This is basically making all the headlines because it's been over 50 years since the market has been down this much and it's just been causing all kinds of chaos. But there is someone that thinks that the pain, at least in the short term, term could end soon. And that's actually uh, Mohammed Alarian. If you guys are not familiar with Mohamed Alarian, he comes out on CNBC quite a lot. He's very critical of the Fed. He says a lot of negative things about him. And he just basically says the Fed is late and he's doing a bad job. Just to paraphrase a lot of things he says. Uh, and he basically thinks that the Fed, based on how far the market has tanked, he's on the verge of flip-flopping. And if you're not sure what he's referring to by that, basically he thinks that, that later on this year, the Fed's going to start seeing the markets go down so much that he's going to eventually have to start to put out the money printer again. Uh, and he doesn't think that he's going to fully commit to doing all the interest rate hikes throughout the year. And he thinks that eventually he's going to stop. Uh, and yeah, it's um, that's something that's a very interesting um, theory. But I think it's all going to still be predicated on inflation. If inflation keeps coming down, there's a potential possibility he might do that. But if it keeps going up, um, there's a possibility he probably won't. But yeah, he was on CNBC today and he had a lot of interesting things to say. Have a look, guys. Here's my probably biggest question about the overall economy as we head into the second half. It looks like consumers are still spending, but they've been spending down their savings. Inflation remains stubbornly high. The essentials cost more and the cost of borrowing certain to rise. So is there the risk of this consumer vice where consumers could slam the brakes more quickly than historically? Thanks, John, for having me. Yes, absolutely. There's the risk. Um, we left out three additional things. The Fed is hiking aggressively into a slowing economy. The fiscal impetus is now negative and exports aren't doing too well. So you, you have these various components all coming together and slowing our economy much faster than we'd like it. Does the Fed have any choice though? No, it doesn't. It got it was late and it fell into the worst trap, which is you have to play catch up. But your window for hiking rates in an orderly fashion has closed. So rather than helping the economy soft land, the Fed now risks actually contributing to a hard landing. And that's that's of its own making because it is so late. Right. So uh, let's look at the Delivering Alpha stock survey. We asked uh, 500 money managers about uh, how the Fed has been doing. 55% said the Fed is rightly getting more aggressive in fighting inflation. You just said uh, they don't really have any choice, but it sure would have been nice if they had started fighting it earlier. What do you put as the odds that the Fed is going to end up with a hard landing because of the corner they sort of painted themselves into? Unfortunately, John, it's, it's a very high probability. Um, the Fed is a good year late. So when you are so late, you're going to have no choice like to hike aggressively. Um, and let's not forget that it also has to reestablish its damage credibility. So I'm afraid that it's a high probability. It's uncomfortably high and it's worrisomely high. Guys, it's pretty much uh, all bad news. Nothing good on the horizon so far. The CPI print 
doesn't come out for another two about two weeks on it should come out in july 10th but other than that we're just sitting and waiting and slowly be leading out and it all um, culminates for one thing as it says right here on cnbc a multitude of factors conspired to generate the stock market's worst first half since 1970 but they all animate uh, emanate from one word inflation so that's the thing that's driving the market lower guys geopolitical things are adding fuel to the fire fed rates are also adding fuel to the fire but nothing really new to import um to report today guys but uh that'll do it for me in this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys again tomorrow take care everyone thanks again everyone for watching fast stock market news if you enjoyed the video consider subscribing commenting or liking the video i would greatly appreciate it my name is Gio, and i'll see you tomorrow guys take care